When the pencil pop is coming across the surface, it imitates a wounded bait fish or a piece of bait that's being chased by a striper or a bluefish. When a fish comes up on the pencil pop, the first thing you want to do is not change the retrieve at all. I find that if it comes up a second time and still misses, then I don't put any action. I just reel slow to give them a clean shot at the plug. When I'm using the pencil popper in a current like the Cape Cod Canal, I have my hands like this with the rod up against my leg. And because of the current, you're not reeling very fast. The current is doing the work of the plug. All you're doing is shaking the tip to give it a little bit of action and let it ride with the current through the rip. After you've made your cast in the pencil popper, you've come tight to it with your reel. You want the pencil popper, as you move your rod up and down, you want the plug slashing left to right in a slow, lazy motion. As far as colors to use on pencil poppers, it depends on the bait that's around. You're trying to somewhat match what's there, whether it be mackerel, bunker, but also what you want to keep in mind, if it's a cloudy day, I tend to stick with white and yellow seems to work the best. The pencil popper best imitates a larger, thinner bait fish, like your herring, mackerel, whiting, and the bunker, of course, which is prominent all over the East Coast. But I find when you do have a fish come up and smack the lure, you don't want to set the hook until you feel the weight of the fish bending the rod, then you can set the hook. Many times they're going to come up, they're going to slash at it, and they're going to miss. And it's a hard thing to learn. It's probably the hardest thing to learn using a pencil popper. But with a little bit of practice, anybody can do it.